Life is like impossible. I can't even imagine having a child. What are you doing? Um, hi, hello. Um, I'm Hannah or Luna. Uh, depends where you come from. Lately, a lot of people have been calling me Luna, which I prefer if you want to call me Luna, but YouTube calls me Hannah and also my mom. Okay, so. That's my puppy. It's been a while. I'm sorry. Let's be realistic. I'm the only one that probably cares about the fact that I haven't been uploading on YouTube, but let me just tell you real quick. The reason is because I've had a million things going on in my life. In February slash March, I moved. It is now the middle of April and I have had so many things happen to me since I moved. I moved from Southern California to the Central Coast of California and after I moved, which moving in general is a lot, moving six hours away from where you were living before is a lot, new work, new people, new ev like everything is new. I don't have any friends here, I'm learning to become acclimated to the area. By the way, I love it here, it is so mind-blowingly beautiful here. It's like, it's, uh, is it like a secret? Like, do people not tell each other? Like, am I not supposed to tell you guys how insanely beautiful it is here? Because I'm telling you right now, um, don't come here. Don't come here. Just kidding, it's so, so beautiful. I hope that you experience it at some point in your life, especially if you live in the United States. Like this is hands down, in my personal opinion, easily one of the most beautiful places in the United States. It is so beautiful here, I'm obsessed with it. I have been just super crazy busy trying to figure out my life, figure out what I'm doing. I'm sorry if I'm yelling. Um, I'm not used to filming YouTube videos anymore and I am used to streaming on Twitch, which is something that I do. If you guys want to hang out with me at any point, please feel free to join and follow on my Twitch channel and hang out and chat and play video games and whatever you want to do. We have a really good community over there. It's really fun. I love Twitch. I love streaming. I love all of the friends that I've made online. It's actually like it's my saving grace, 100%. So, if you guys want to follow me on Twitch, whoo, this is my handle. I um, have gone through a lot of personal things since I moved out here. I am not going to talk about them because like I said that they are personal. Um, there was kind of just like this like roller coaster of highs and lows and goods and bads and it just was it just was uh, very overwhelming, especially because it all happened like right as I was moving and then after I was moving and it just was kind of endless and it really started with my cat passing away. If you guys have been around for a while, then you might know who my cat Pun Pun is. I do still have Guillermo who just jumped on the chair. Pun Pun passed away out of nowhere. He was only about seven years old. I did make a video about it, but I never uploaded it. But I never uploaded it because I was sobbing and I was so sad and I was, I was so, so sad. I don't know how to explain how sad I was. It's just like incredibly painful situation to be in. To lose a pet, to lose anybody in your life is just, I cannot explain it. I, 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 you just really, it's just pain. It's just pain and it was awful. And it started with that and then there were just a plethora of things that happened in my life that I've just been dealing with mentally, physically. And so here I am making my first YouTube video. Hopefully I am on the up. I have been taking really good care of myself. I have been taking really good care of the people around me and trying my best to kind of just like grow from the situations that I was facing. So, I got a puppy. I am very vividly reminded of the sound on TikTok that's like, I'm fucking crazy. Um, I think it applies to me. I'm like, oh, I'm going through all this crazy shit. I am having a life crisis and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get a puppy. He's actually a really good boy and I love him so much. His name is Onigiri, which is a rice ball in Japanese and he is around 14 weeks now. I'm actually taking him to his second vet appointment tomorrow to get his booster shots. If anybody lives in the Central Coast and you have a puppy or dog in general that's fully vaccinated and you want to hang out, please let me know because this man's 
he needs some friends. So I have been training him and I have never really trained a dog before. Like growing up, we always had dogs. I believe my parents did the majority of the training. I don't think that I've ever trained a dog before. It is not the easiest thing in the world, although it has been going really well. He's very smart. He learned how to like sit, come, go in his bed, all those fun things. We taught him how to use a bell to uh, let us know that he needs to go outside. So those are all really going well. The only thing that I am struggling with, and if you have any recommendations, he just bites me all the time. Like all he wants to do is bite me. I have been doing the method of just like letting him know like, ow, that hurts, like don't do that. He does not give a shit. He literally does not give a shit. Like he is on another level. But yeah, we love him. I'm so excited to see him grow and have him in my life. It is just like a, such a good addition to my life. I didn't film any proper videos and I did want to be able to share with you guys like what he looked like whenever he was really little, a little potato because he's way bigger, way bigger than he was whenever we got him which is like mind blowing to me. Like he just looks like a completely different dog now. So here is the footage of him as a little potato baby. This is his current situation. We have cardboard in the doors <laughs> that he can't get through, but Guillermo can still get into the other rooms. Also, Guillermo and him are doing really well together, which is amazing. I'm so, so happy. I, that's like the number one reason I was scared to get a dog was because... Why are you chewing on your paws, Bubba? Ah, yes. <sighs> this the baby. This the baby. What are you doing? Do you want to say hi to the camera? He is 10 weeks old, apparently. We got him on a farm. And uh, he is an Australian Shepherd lab mix. We're not sure. We are going to get like a DNA test to find out what his breed is. He has plenty of toys. Shout out to Katie, my friend, who sent him a care package and got him lots of toys. But he's very small. Um, I took him to the vet maybe four <gasps> days ago. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I took him to the vet maybe four days ago and they told me that he weighs six pounds. So he might be like seven pounds now. I don't know. I feel like that makes sense. Come on. Come here. <laughs> Are you playing? His favorite is lamb chop. We call it lamb chop 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 though. I don't know why. But um, like I was saying, they told us that he only weighed six pounds, but he's definitely gotten bigger even since I took him to the vet just a couple days ago. So he probably weighs seven pounds now. He seems larger. <laughs> hey, you crazy boy. You crazy. He was literally sleeping before I got the camera out and now he's just going crazy. Are you being crazy? Are you being crazy? Hey. Oh my God, I just realized that there was onigiri in his little water bowl. Oh my God, I need to put some more water in there. But I just realized that his water bowl is literally onigiri. Oni, Oni, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Peanuts. Look at them. They're so cute. Have you ever seen a cuter bean? How are you doing, Mama? How are you doing? My baby. My, my little sweet baby. Are you my boy? What did you find? 
I may or may not have been lifting. Oni! Oni! What did you find? What are you doing? What are you doing? Is that my Oni? Is that my Oni? What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? What are you up to? What are you up to? Wow! <laughs> I just wanted to give you guys a little update because I have not made a thorough video yet, but I want to make sure that I get some footage of the baby because look how big he is. I know I'm going to look at the older footage that I took of him from a couple weeks ago and just be like mind blown because he looks like a dog now. He doesn't look like a little baby squishy potato boy. Are you a big boy now? I don't, I don't know how much he weighs now, but he's still very small, but just so much bigger than he was before. He's also obsessed with eating my shoes, as most puppies are. Right, Papa? And his ears are standing up more and more every day. And it is like my current obsession, just like seeing how much his ears stand up. Here comes Caramo. Caramo, are you going to come over? Hi, Mama. <laughs> Caramo and him actually are getting along really well. Guillermo like hangs out in here and walks around and like lets him sniff him but he just gets frustrated whenever the dog like tries to play with him he just kind of ignores him and walks away <laughs> but you can tell that he's just kind of like um no I don't want to do that so but other than that they get along really well so no issues right puppies you guys are so good come sit Good boy. Get in your bed. Good boy. Good boy. He's a genius. I probably said this in another clip, but we are going to get him DNA tested because we don't totally know his breed. So if anybody has any guesses, we know that he is at least 50% Australian Shepherd and we do not know the other half of his breed. So if you guys wanna let me know a little bit of insight, feel free. Lately, the internet is telling me that he's probably part Border Collie and possibly part um, Australian healer, like a Queensland healer, uh, which is like a cattle dog. Sit. Good boy. Good boy, Oni. Good boy. He just jumped this gate. He jumped it. And I don't know ah! how he did it, but we're gonna test this theory. I think he might have gotten up in this and then went over. So we're gonna see if he does it again. Because I was opening this window for Guillermo. <laughs> He's literally glowing in there. Um, because I felt bad for him because he can't look out this window right now because Oni is harassing him, so. I'm going in here. I'm going in here, Oni. 
See you in a bit. Okay, apparently the case has not been solved because he's just in the basket playing with his lamb chop. <laughs> and he has not made an attempt at escape again. He is huge now. I'm just blown away by how much bigger he's gotten since we got him. He's still a little puppy though, obviously. Are you just a little puppy? Honey, look at his ears. They're blowing my mind. I wonder if they're gonna stick the whole way up. I feel like they are. I really feel like they are. Anyway, that is the Oni update. He is being so good. We have taught him sit, come, um, get in your bed, which is to go into the cage. I am currently working on the bell system for going potty. I know this is very, very exciting content for everyone. He actually uses it. He rings it whenever he wants to go out, and the moment he goes out, he goes potties. How much longer are you gonna be a baby for? How long are you gonna be a baby, Oni? How long? I have lemon on my finger, so I don't know how good that's gonna taste. Do you like it? Ow, Oni. I guess he likes lemon. Good morning. <coughs> Good morning. <coughs> oh my. Oh my goodness. Oni. Careful. I hope that you guys enjoyed that footage. I mostly just want to like document him as a puppy because I know that he's gonna get so big so fast. And I was actually watching a video that I made whenever we adopted Guillermo and I cried because I loved it so much and he's so little and Pun Pun is in it and oh my gosh. Um, yeah, what else? What else was I gonna Oh, my hair is brown, huh? Um, we're not gonna talk about it. No, I don't think that there is anything else that I need to talk about. The big news was that I got a puppy uh, no, I'm not having a baby, although a lot of people in my life are having babies and I'm going to be an aunt for the first time ever in my life and I am so excited, I'm so excited. My brother and his wife are due in like five days, so I'm like, I don't even know how to handle that emotion, but yes, that's something that's happening in my life. Um, but yeah, I do plan on uploading more to my channel. Thank you guys for watching this. I know this is super random. I really just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I got a puppy and that there will be more puppy content, I promise. I feel like I said so much, and I also feel like I said so little. I don't know if there's gonna be any conclusion to this video or if there's really any way to like describe what's going on in this video, but thank you guys for listening to me blab to myself. Um, I appreciate you. I hope that I was able to give you guys like a little bit of an update on my life and let you know that I will be posting more content on YouTube. I do post content on Twitch. I also am on Instagram and I plan on posting more to TikTok as well. So thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate you. I hope that you take good care of yourselves and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.